You thought Sony made an impact by announcing that Tom Hardy was going to play Venom? They just won up themselves. Carnage is going to be the villain. Hey guys, John Campy here, and yeah, you heard that right. Okay, so a lot of people were turned off by the idea of a standalone Venom movie, but a lot of people also warmed the hell up pretty damn quick when they announced that Tom Hardy was gonna be a part of it. Now, this movie starts shooting a little bit later this year, and Venom is set to release on October 5th, 2018. It's, of course, got Tom Hardy, and it's being directed by Ruben Fleischer. If you recognize Ruben Fleischer's name, it's because he directed films like Zombieland, 30 Minutes or Less, and unfortunately, he also directed Gangster Squad. Well, the news comes in The Hollywood Reporter, which in an article where they interviewed Sony chairman Tom Rothman, they said this. As for expansion plans, Tom Hardy is starring in Venom, dated for October 5th, 2018, which will also feature the villain Carnage. A source says Holland is only contractually obligated to Spider-Man 2 and 3, but the intention is to bring him into the spin-offs and possibly other Marvel films. He is currently shooting Marvel's Avengers Infinity War. Now, where the Venom movie stands right now as far as is it in the MCU, is it not? Do we believe Amy Pascal when she says that it is? Do we believe the very doubting stunt face of Ken Feige, which almost suggests that it isn't. Regardless, like I said off the top, a lot of people got more intrigued with the idea of a Venom film when Tom Hardy joined on. But now, you're introducing Carnage. Look, all due respect to villains like Mysterio, to Vulture, like Green Goblin, like Dr. Octopus. Since the 90s, the two villains that people seem to really attract themselves to the most are Venom and Carnage. And the idea of these two characters battling it out in a really high quality visual effects extravaganza, you do that right and also properly introduce us and get us invested in the characters of Eddie, of Eddie Brock, of Cletus Cassidy. You get us into these two guys and then you give us an incredible battle between Carnage and Venom. This is something geeks have been wetting themselves over for almost 20 years. Now, of course, this also could be an incredible setup for incredible, undocumented disappointment, which could just kind of ruin everything. Because Sony may have ruined Rhino, but man, if you ruin Venom and Carnage in the same movie, the fans are never going to forgive you. However, you get Venom and Carnage right, they'll forgive just about everything you did before. One of the things I'm really curious to see at this point is how are the fans going to respond when this whole is the Venom movie in the MCU or not question kind of gets sorted out. Like, a lot of people are not believing what Amy Pascal said, and right now Marvel hasn't put out anything to kind of contradict what she said, but a lot of people are also, you know, interpreting Kevin Feige's facial expressions like maybe she wasn't telling the truth. I'm very curious to see how the fan base will react to Venom as a whole once that question gets all cleared up. Because I think on its underlying truth is this, is that Fans want to see Venom, and fans want to see Carnage, and fans really want to see Carnage fighting Venom. So if Sony can pull this off, it's actually gonna be pretty impressive. And of course, if they don't pull it off, they will have ruined their entire cinematic universe before it even really gets started. All right, now before I send you anywhere, here are three interesting things to know. Number one, Carnage was originally meant to be the same Venom symbiote who moved on to another host after the planned death of Eddie Brock, however, the Brock Venom character ended up being so popular that Marvel just couldn't kill him off. So, Carnage became a separate entity altogether, attaching himself to a new character, Cletus Cassidy. Secondly, the full-blown character of Carnage made his first appearance in The Amazing Spider-Man number 361 all the way back in 1992. And third, and I know we've mentioned this, but it bears repeating, Spider-Man Homecoming producer Amy Pascal did state in a recent interview with Kevin Feige that the Sony Spider-Man spinoffs would be a part of the Homecoming universe, which in and of themselves are also a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Does that mean Venom is in the MCU? We're gonna wait to have to see how this pans out. All right, so what I really wanna know at this point is what do you guys think about this? Put the Amy Pascal statement aside for a second. Are you excited to hear that Carnage is the villain in the Venom movie? Do you think they should go with somebody smaller named first and build up Venom before you get to Carnage? I want to hear what you guys think. Jump into the comments section below and let me know. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you're following me on Facebook and on Twitter at John Campia, and I'll check you next time.